Good morning, Papa of My Shire Farm, Builder of Things. It's a trellis here I made for uh, the, the garden with the wattle fence. We have a video on that wattle fence. If you, it's a pretty cool video. Uh, it's something that most people could do, making that wattle fence, but there is a good video on that, on um, the playlist there at My Shire Farm. Um, we're going to do a little tour, a quick tour here of the hoop house today, and um, come join me. The last video we did, we talked about the uh, how I watered the tomatoes here. Uh, we talked a little bit about cloning some of these, and I hope to do a video on that when we get into the greenhouse. We do uh, some hydroponics in there we have done in the past I hope to do again but being only the only July we got August to go and it's just gonna be hot and probably too hot to to do that this here is our our hoop house now we start this early so a lot of these things in here are already um, well on their way out um, we got our our zucchini here still has some. Looks like somebody been picking on, picking our big zucchini off of there already. Uh, maybe even this morning. And here we have our squash. Um, still got some squash here. This guy is probably big enough to be thinking about taking off. And so, um, so these guys are. I've been feeding them, trying to uh, convince them to stay going here a little longer. And I think we'll probably get another week or two out of them, but that's about it. Over here we have our eggplant. And I love eggplant, and I'm pretty excited about our crop here. I don't know exactly if you can get down here and see some of these eggplants going. But we got we got some eggplant going here. And, and Zach's wife, Jenna, my daughter, she really can fix an eggplant. Um, here's our some of our onions, and we've got some nice size onions here. Look at the size of that onion going. That's a dando. That is a dando onion. Now these these raised beds in here, these guys here in particular, these are made with garage door panels. They came with the used hoop house, and they were the exterior walls originally. But for some reason, I didn't want to use them for the exterior walls. I think because I wanted to incorporate the hoops into it. Um, and so I had these extra panels that are hard to get rid of. So I just used them for the raised bed. It was a lot of work. Uh, it, I put probably too much drainage in them because it stays, uh, it's really hard to keep moist. I haven't watered these yet. Jenna usually does. Our peacocks that we keep bragging on. Uh, we're getting in here and just destroying it. They did three times. I finally put this up, and I don't know if it's because we don't have any cabbage this year or, or um, broccoli and cauliflower, that we don't have many uh, butterflies or any butterflies. I haven't seen any butterflies this year. But I don't know that these w this wouldn't help... Um, detour the butterflies from coming in but this is not a year to say it's our herbs here we use a lot a lot of these onions will be used up uh, when we start canning our tomatoes for our tomato sauce and uh, our spaghetti sauce now we'll be doing some pizza sauce uh, Zach uses and if you've gotten live birds from us you know we use a lot of cucumbers so we try to grow some cucumbers on our own here we got another batch coming up over there. These are our peppers. They did pretty good. These again were uh, got some frostbites. So some of these don't look as good as they could because they act, when we put these in, there was definite danger of uh, freezing. So and, and some of them did. But uh, these hydroponic buck buckets, we've never we're not using right now. I fill, refilled those with dirt. Uh, this is the gravel that were that was in them before, a pearlite, which is a really light, light, light thing. 
didn't have a whole lot of luck with these in here for some reason with the tomato plants that I originally thought that I was going to have in here. Um, I don't know why, but it'd probably be worth trying again. So this has a little um, trough that I made for when it leaks and overflows or whatever. But these are the holding tanks for the nutrient solutions that you'd have in here. And uh, they're still still got water in them, so that's kind of cool after three years of neglect. Um, but that would, it was on a timer and it would pump and pump and drain ever so often. That's how it works in the greenhouse as well. Um, this is uh, another one of my friend's tricks here to train your tomatoes and or whatever to climb up these ropes. So those guys there have done a pretty good job of training themselves to climb up the uh, baling twine in this case, just because we had some. So it's time we take out some of these onions that are done and we'll dry them out and, and have them for our uh, salsa and spaghetti sauce and all the stuff that you'd use for that. But that's, um, I think that's about it in here. Um, seems like I did one. Oh, yeah. And then people would leave the door open so the peacocks got in even after I had that. So I used, made a little closer here so that you didn't have to worry so much about that. So that's our, uh, that's our hoop house. And uh, a little short video on the hoop house. The... Um, the next thing I want to get into is our watering um, cisterns that we use here because uh, as I've, I've said before, we don't have a lot of water up here, or a lot of well water. So uh, we solve that problem with cisterns. So I appreciate you watching. Don't forget we uh, have live Q and A's on Sunday and uh, it's at seven at, on our YouTube channel. And Zach is answering quail questions. Sometimes I'm on it. No, it's mine. And uh, I'm on it to answer any of your build questions. I hope I can help in the future. So have a great day. And we'll be right back with another video. So hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.